Oh, just, it feels like our home away from home. We've been here, it's the third time the team's been here for camps and uh, people really welcome us. I think that the fans and the local community really like our players being around here. Uh, the effort that they go to in terms of coordinating everything for us. Um, fields, facilities are, are really good. Um, it's a nice town, it's quiet, it's close enough to Tokyo to get in there and, and see the sights of Tokyo, but it's kind of a, a bit of a calming place. I know that the players have had a chance to be able to kind of get their local favourites here and um, yeah, the, it's just a, the local council, the mayor, everyone involved in it really wants us here, which is, makes us feel welcome. You know, like we, we arrive, as soon as we arrive, there's, you know, three or four people from the council making sure that everything's sorted out. Uh, there's people here at the field. We saw 20 to 30 people out there raking the field to get it ready for us for the game and doing it with pleasure. You know, look behind me and there's a bunch of people here checking the, the team out and playing and, you know, they're respectful, they're clapping every time there's a good play or a home run gets hit, they're, they're cheering on Australia. See Australian flags everywhere. You walk down the streets and you see the banners with, with Team Australia on it. Um, makes you feel really special and, and you know, this is, you know, pre preparation for the WBC, which is a huge event, but, you know, it feels like we've kind of come home and, um, and, and we're preparing in, in a place that, that's really familiar for the team that, that people really want us here. Look, it's a massive event, obviously. The WBC is huge. A lot of the players have been looking forward to, forward to it for a long, long time. Uh, preparing for it, for it is never easy and great to be able to get the guys together and good to be able to do it in a place where we know what the facilities are like. Um, the, the coaches can plan their, their daily practice schedules. We know that if it rains that we can head to major university and, and go indoors. Um, but yeah, it's familiar. So the players turn up. It's a different hotel this time, but, um, but it's the same town. It's, it's a lot of the same people from the council who are supporting them. And, um, you know, ironically, the, the, some of our team are starting to build, build a little bit of a fan base here in, in Fuchu. And, um, you know, I talked to the, the mayor and, um, you know, showed them skin in the game, a little bit of a sneak peek on it. And they were thrilled to see Daryl George eating the uh, ramen as an example. And, um, you know, the, the players have got a bit of a reputation here of give, giving the ramen and, and the local restaurants a bit of a nudge. So, um, yeah, I think that they're, they're really pleased to be able to have us here.